Welcome, and follow me as a Realme X3 Super Zoom, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. Now when you put it up for the first time, you will be presented with the select language screen as the first option. So choose your language from the list right here. I'm gonna stick with English, which is selected for me by default, and then go to next. From here you can select your region, now this will also determine the time zone, um, so you can select yours, I'm not really gonna be bothering here. Then we have terms of use, um, so you have to agree to the first one, um, you can tap on the blue text to actually read it if you're interested what you're agreeing to. Um, and that's the only thing you can or you have to accept. Now the other ones like the um, experimental programs and some other stuff are optional as you can see in the grey text right at the very ending it says optional so you don't actually have to select it if you don't want to. Now again you can tap on the blue text and read what it exactly does. And from here we have the option to connect to Wi-Fi. So again this is also optional, you have the choice to skip this. Um, if you don't have any Wi-Fi then go right ahead and skip it. If you do uh, you can connect and the only benefit it will give you is uh, throughout the setup we'll also have a screen where we can log into our Google account and back our, not backup but restore our device from an old backup that has been created on the Google Cloud. So I'm gonna opt out of that, I don't really care about logging into Google uh, but again if you want to uh, it will act, grant you the access to Gmail and stuff like that, whichever, whatever it will, well, whatever your Google account has, it will basically log into all of it. Then we have the Wi-Fi Assistant. Now this option is fairly nice. Um, I'm gonna choose to actually accept this. Now what it does is, for instance, if you have two Wi-Fi's in your area that you are well, that you have password for both of them and your phone remembers it, it will choose the better one. So whichever one is faster, stronger, that's the one that it will go for. The phone will automatically decide which one is the better one. Um, so it will improve the Wi-Fi experience. Now we also have the uh, option on the bottom which appears once you check this on, which is to switch from Wi-Fi to mobile data if both of the Wi-Fi's are complete and utter garbage. So we can also check that on. Now keep in mind that if you don't have something like an unlimited uh, plan um, or really low amount of it, of the data, so with this option you might be running out of it because if it decides that your Wi-Fi is trash it will switch to uh, mobile data and thus it will start using the mobile data. So just keep that in mind. If you don't have a lot, I would probably suggest to not opt into this second option. And from here let's go to next and we have Google services. So we have things like use location, scanning and uh, send user and diagnostic data. Now you can read exactly what they do by tapping on the arrow right here to expand the list as you can see. Um, and once you're ready you can basically deactivate them which that's what I'm doing. Now again you don't actually have to, that's just kind of what I like to do. And then we have set lock screen. So on here uh, we have a way to set some kind of protection to our device. Now. In this case when we go from here it basically goes through every single protection so once we tap on start it opts into the uh, six digit pin which I'm not a fan of so I'm gonna tap on other encryption method and change it to something like a pattern. So once you see I set up a pattern and basically it's set and now it goes immediately to face recognition so I just do that as you can see there we go that's a nice face there. Um, so now we also have face recognition it, after it adds face it gives you that pop-up so we can raise the device and it will wake it up so it automatically scans your face. You can choose to have that or not, it's completely up to you. And then it goes straight to the fingerprint. Now I will mention that I have added the face uh, unlock but you don't have to. Uh, there is an option to cancel as you can see right over here. And for instance I don't really feel like adding a fingerprint, it just takes too much so cancel. And it keeps the uh, method that we have already added, for me it's going to be the uh, pattern plus the face recognition. Um, so however many you added, they will stay, but we'll just cancel the last one. Then we have recommended auto update overnight, completely your choice if you want it or not. And then home screen icons, um, again completely your choice, it's just a uh, different look of the icons on the home screen. Now I like the default one so that's what I'm going to keep. And from here we're basically done, so let's stop on next. Uh, and we have import data, so that is, I believe, uh, 
it will work with the app that comes provided with the realme devices and if you have a non realme device you will be required to download that app from the play store and um, it will basically connect uh, two phones together and give you an option what you want to import to this device so i'm setting it up as new so i'm just gonna go for later and if you're doing the same then well also press later but if you want to import your data then by all means just go through the guide that will provide you there and from here we're gonna tap on get started and we're done with the setup so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching